Hi everybody, today I am going to teach you the factorization process of a quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation having the degree 2, which is the highest power of the variable involved. We have to factorize it by the midterm breaking process, mainly known as factorization. So this is our midterm, 7x. First of all, we multiply the coefficient of x squared with the constant term. We get 2 times 6 is 12. We factorize it as 2 times 6, 2 times 3, and 3 times 1. Our factors would be the combination of these three prime factors. We can say them as 2 times 6, or we can make it as 4 times 3. We can also make them as 12 times 1, which is equal to 12. Now the midterm breaking process is a special process that says when you break the middle term, you have to make its two factors such that their sum would be the middle term and their product would be the product of the coefficient of x square and the constant term. So here we have factorized 12. Now we have to choose the two parts or two factors of 12 that sum up in making plus 7x. Remember we have also keep an account on the relative sign. So here we get 2 plus 6 that comes out to be 8 so this cannot be the factors. We have 12 plus 1 that comes out to be 13 these also cannot be the factors. We use 4 plus 3 these can be the factors. We write it as 2x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 6 equals to 0. Remember that the sum of these two factors must be the middle term and the product of these two factors must be the product of 2x square and 6. So now we combine the first two terms as 2x squared plus 4x plus the second bracket we have 3x plus 6. We see the common term that comes out to be 2x and we get x plus 2 here plus 3 common here we get x plus 2 here. So here is another tip. If the terms in the brackets after taking out common are same. You can say that you have properly factorized your quadratic equation or the factors are true or you can say that you have done correct factorization of the quadratic equation. So Further solving we get x plus 2 common which is same and remainder we get 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Now I am going to explain some of the important rules that are to be kept in mind while factorizing a quadratic equation. If the product of the constant and the coefficient of x square comes out to be positive. Then the factors would be having same sign. That is, either both of them would be positive or both of them would be negative. However, if the product comes out to be negative, then the factors would be having different signs. That is, 
either the first one is positive second may be negative or the first one is negative second may be positive so these are the rules that are to be kept in mind while guessing the sign of the factors now I'm moving on to a question that involve all the concepts and techniques and I'm dividing it into four different sequences so let's say we have a question x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 and now we have x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 here we have x square minus 5x minus 6 equals to 0 and here we get x square plus 5x minus 6 equals to 0 in these four questions we will cover all the major concepts and I'm hopeful that you will learn the techniques of factorization by the middle term process easily so first of all we see the coefficient of x square which is 1 and the constant plus 6 we factorize this 6 we get 2 times 3 3 1 times we get 3 so the possible factors are 2 multiplied by 3 we factorize it we get x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 equals to 0 since the product is positive so we know that our both factors would be having the same sign that is either positive or negative but this sign here this tells us that both the factors would be having positive sign so we use plus 2 and plus 3 we combine it we get x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 equals to 0 get x into x plus 2 plus 3 into x plus 2 and we get x plus 2 into x plus 3 equal to 0 moving on here we get 6 we factorize it 2 times 3 and 3 times 1 so we get the factors 2 into 3 as 6 but here we have sign negative so this implies both of our factors would be having negative sign since the product of coefficient of x square and constant is having positive sign so we get x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 we get x into x minus 3 minus 2 x minus 3 since we have taken minus common so the sign in the bracket gets changed so now we have x minus 3 x minus 2 equals to 0 since the terms in the brackets are same so our factorization is done good now moving on to the third question in this case if we use the factors 3 and 2 so we get minus 3 into plus 2 or plus 3 into minus 2 equals to minus 6 but when we add 3 or 2 we get plus 5 or minus 3 plus 2 we get minus 1 so here what we will do we will use the other factors that is 2 3's are 6 and 6 times 1 is equal to 6 remember I told you we will get the factors through prime factorization so now we factorize it we write it as x square minus since here we get a minus sign so this also tells us that the two factors that are we that we are going to use must be having opposite signs and this sign 
tells us that the greater factor would be having negative signs. So we write x square minus 6x plus x minus 6 equals to 0. You get x, x minus 6 plus 1, x minus 6 equals to 0. Since 1 is common in between these two terms, so we get x minus 6 into x plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case, we get the product equal to negative. This implies that the both the term would be having opposite sign, but the term that would be having the positive sign would be the greater term. So here we write x square plus 6x minus x minus 6 equals to 0. Get x into x plus 6 minus 1 x plus 6 since we have taken minus common here. So the sign of the terms inside the bracket change. And here we write x plus 6 x minus 1 equals to 0. So in this way I have covered all the concepts and basic techniques that are to be used in factorization in the middle term breaking process. So here we conclude it. Thank you and subscribe to my videos.